welcome back. My name's Rob, this is Sarah. In this episode, we're gonna show you everything we've done to the cheapest conversion. No, you can't use the word wrong. Yeah, right? <laughs> In this episode, we're gonna show you everything we have done and modified to this uh, converted school bus. This was the cheapest school bus we could find in the country. If you want to see everything wrong with this bus previously, click up here. Now we're going to go over everything we've done to it since we bought it. Highlight that. All right, that seat belt was disgusting. It's not gonna be perfect, but check out this water. That's what was in the seat belt. How's that? Right. Pretty great. Yeah? Yeah, good job. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's quality right there. Sprayed the bugs right in it. It adds more texture. All right, there you go. Roof's repainted. Not perfect, but should do a lot better than what it was doing before. How was that, Sarah? That was not a good time. <laughs> um, it's very windy, so there's um, some grit in there for texture. It's anti-slip. Yes, exactly. Yeah, digging that a lot more. Looks way less dorky without those big amber squares. So maybe we can uh, use this wiring for some driving lights or something, but I don't know. Looks a lot better. Right, Sarah? Yeah, it looks great. And I think those mirrors were completely pointless. For our needs, anyway, since we're not in the uh, business of hauling munchkins. But... What you doing, Sarah? 
put a little privacy film on the lower window for to hide our gear. Yeah, all the really, really expensive, no, it's not at all gear, but just this is a pretty memorable vehicle, so if you see it and you recognize it, there's nothing valuable in it, so go bother somebody else. <laughs> I thought you were gonna hit that tree for sure. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Saying goodnight to the school bus, heading back to the Astro. I'm very excited about the lighting we have going on outside, so I wanted to capture it. <laughs> I like my little solar things, don't you? Yeah, so we got these solar lights that Sarah found on Amazon that are like solar spotlights, and then I put a solar motion light on the door, so whenever you come up to this thing, it lights up. It's amazing. Come on, Lex. <clears throat> All right, bus is packed up. We're leaving the Karma bus behind, but we're gonna keep the Karma train rolling. <laughs> Wicky, you look pretty majestic with that uh, awesome painting behind you. <laughs> we have some, some light tools packed under there, and we're gonna leave a damp rid thing in here and a club on it, maybe. We're gonna lock the heck out of it and um, put some uh, uh, soap bars around to try to keep out the little critters. Yeah, we sealed up a bunch of holes. All right, I'll show you guys this quick. I fixed this. I fixed the uh, the front area of the doors here got smashed. You kind of see the door is all bent right there, so it wasn't sealing. So what we did is we used foam um, weather stripping, and then I covered that with flex tape because the uh, foam weather stripping was not staying on. So hopefully this will be more durable. I guess we will see this in a month or two. It's the plan. And I think when we're coming back, I'm gonna bring in way more 12 volt supplies and I'm gonna be rewiring this thing so that I can actually use the power without turning on the freaking inverter. Along with lighting, maybe a different fridge type situation. We'll see, we'll see. We have plans. Yeah. Let's see what else we can get into before we gotta get out of here. Oh yeah. What's up, Sarah? Well, what's up, Rob? About that time? About that time, eh? Time to head west? Pitter patter. All right, I don't know what this video is gonna be, but <laughs> we're gonna be driving 24 hours, so here's the beginning before all the carnage. Oh boy. <laughs> all right, so we're in Iowa. Check this out. So there's three things here, a black one, a blue one, and a red one, but then the black nozzle is near the blue, and the black in the middle is near this blue, so it's like, which one is it? Is it, is it the black? Is this the black nozzle, or is this the one that's in the middle? I don't know, man. So we can't use this one, okay? Correct. It's flex fuel. And that blue. is 450. No, like, this is the middle one. It's in the middle. No, it's not. I'm literally pumping it over there. It's not. No, this one. No. This one goes in your in your mouth. <laughs> okay. This one. This one goes in your ear. Yeah. This one goes in your butt. Literally, come look at me. Why would they use blue, black, and red and then put these out of order? I don't know. Fucking Iowa. All right, we're in Nebraska. 
What do you think? I think maybe it's about time for us to drive through another tornado again. <laughs> well, the first time I brought Sarah out here, we were out here for a week and she never even saw the Rockies because it was snowing so hard, like the entire time. And it was, I don't I, know. I skied the mountains, I just didn't really see the mountains. <laughs> oh, here's a boat. <laughs> oh, it's a Bayliner. Not worth saving, boys. Chop it up. All right, so after 20 hours of driving, we finally got to our place, and this is our first time seeing the land all graded the way uh, we thought it should be graded. In Hopefully. person, in person. We saw <laughs> photos and video, but... Yeah, it's kind of hard to see in, in video and pictures and stuff, but... Yeah, well, uh, fingers crossed. We'll see how it turns out. Looks pretty good. <laughs> This is one of the ideas I had once I was here. Never would have thought of this from looking at photos, but the idea was you fill in this and drive up here. I know about the van. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little narrow in some spots. Yeah. I think can back the bus right up there. Yep. All right, the, uh, the land looks pretty cool. We're gonna go grab the bus and then figure it out from there because we are on a time crunch. We'll see if the bus starts. <laughs> also, fingers crossed. All right. Survey says it's good noise. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Got this naughty dog here. Freaking guard dog hates everybody. <laughs> he chased the Astro, but he's not chasing this thing. The diesel scared him off. That is pretty rad. All right, so this is the interior of the Karma Chameleon bus in terms of lighting as it stands today. We currently just have a bunch of battery lanterns and then some brighter ones up there, but the problem is none of them use these big ass batteries and all this stuff. So that's what we're gonna be doing this weekend. Um, I got a bunch of stuff off Amazon and we're gonna just play with it and see what we think. So he's like, I don't like this. <laughs> Dude, you're like what? You're the cutest. I'm sorry. I think uh, I think we have some cool ideas. Now it's gonna be time to execute, right? So stay By tuned. that he means put me to work. Yeah, so let's time lapse. Alright, so process shot here. We're in the middle of a lot of things. Sarah, what are you doing? Uh, making a little magnet, as seen on TV type curtainy thing for the for all the bugs. <laughs> yes. Why is so, this one so much? Oh, no, okay. no, I just have it. Up. Okay. Yeah, I was yeah, like, wow, you ripped the hell out of it. It's essentially done here. I just nice. Let's yeah. Show us how it works. Walk through it, Anna. Now you gotta. Yeah, now you gotta come in. Come up here. Now you gotta do a spin. Do blue steel. I don't know. Do blue steel. <laughs> so, so far today, I've relocated the inverter switch. I didn't like having to reach down to turn on the inverter, plus, like, that was the only way to check battery levels. So, I also added a Bluetooth remote for the uh, Renogy MPPT solar controller. So what I'm doing is I'm putting everything up here so that right when you walk in, you can turn everything on and off. And um, this will also be able to turn on and off the inverter. 
And as you saw last night, we were experimenting with a lot of different kind of lights. We're gonna be able to turn all those on and off right here. So there's gonna be a lot of wiring in the back of these cabinets and down to this fuse box. And we're gonna have to figure out how to clean this up too, because this is just driving me crazy having a loose wire on the ceiling here. Um, and then we're also gonna be putting lighting over here. One thing I did today, I tried to get a time lapse, but then I ran out of batteries, is I added a little aluminum extrusion here and we're gonna put the LEDs on the bottom of it. That will act as a uh, heat sink and it kind of keeps the light indirect. So you shouldn't be able to see it really. Kind of a nice little shield for the light. I've also mounted these big guys right here. So those will all come on at once and then you can turn them on and off individually from each light. There's even one right here. Been busy, things are kind of torn apart, but let's make it worse. <laughs> All right, so I'm not done wiring, but we're gonna do a test fire here. Look at that, Sarah. Ooh. Voltage. I see it. I want you to turn this switch on in just a second. Go for it. Ooh, look at that. That's awesome. Right? Look at how much light that is. That's perfect. And you know, we were debating between the two and the three. I think the three is great. Just, yeah. Turn on or off any of them. Oh, that's awesome. Good job, babe. So I don't think you can do one of these school bus builds unless you have like some exposed pallet wood. So we picked up some free pallets and Sarah is going to start stripping for us. Hey We're going to tear those apart and put them on the back wall here before we run some of the trim. I think that's going to make it look a lot cooler. And once we get the lighting in, it's going to look I don't know what day of the build this is, but uh, we have a bunch of wiring done. So I'm gonna show Sarah what's going on here. So first off, we just have this one, which is on and off all the time for the bathroom, always live. But then this switch right here, bam. So much light. Yeah, it's, it's a lot better and it's all under cabinet. It's those white light bars, but here's what I'm excited about. Let's see if it works. How's that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that looks amazing. Yeah. Man, after all this problem solving, I'm really, really excited about this. <laughs> Dance party. Yeah, this is awesome. Look at this. Needed All day. indirect. It's so cool. This is going to look absolutely crazy later. I can't wait. Look at the wood too. Doesn't that look really sweet? Yeah.
Okay, so the canopy that came with the bus was broken. The previous owner told us that it had a bad day in a windstorm. And you can see that some of the ends broke off. They're supposed to look like this. And I was able to Frankenstein together the pieces because they're interchangeable to give us at least poles where we can prop up the sides. It's not terribly windy right now. I think in a bad windstorm, we wouldn't even try this, but it's 91 degrees and we're cooking, trying to do some work. So we just need just a little bit of shade. I just, we have enough parts. I think we'll be able to make it work. <laughs> Look at that. It's an awning, boys. That's pretty cool. It's not a great one, and in wind, it's gonna blow over, but. To be fair. To be fair. I said I was very happy to be proven wrong. <laughs> Where is the shade then? Yeah, it's the wrong time of day to even have shade from it, but tomorrow, it's gonna be great. MacGyver. Can we go for a walk? Not much has changed in here other than we remounted the original plate, added some stickers, we added some trim on all the corners of the walls because those look terrible. This is the big deal right here. We now have power, 12 volt power and lighting so we don't need to rely on battery powered lanterns. So this bus does have a pretty decent solar system but when we bought it there was absolutely nothing usable that was 12 volts. So you had to turn on an inverter for light you had to basically do everything through the inverter, which was really inefficient. So now we have the inverter panel mounted right here if you want to make the outlets work. Added a Bluetooth module for the Renogy solar controller. And we have these lights, which can all be turned on and off individually. Super bright. And then these guys, which turned out amazing did everything indirect and used aluminum extrusions on the bottom of the cabinets here to help hide the lighting. And then back here, have a floating panel and touch sensitive reading lights with a little built-in charger in the bottom there. Um, again, indirect lighting, we put some pallet wood up. Very cool, you have to have pallet wood on a school build, I think. It's like a roll, yeah. yeah. Brand new cabinet because the old one was super janky and uh, yeah, you can pull the bottom out, which is kind of nice. There's a hole you can pull that out to get to the bottom stuff. Another floating wall panel with the indirect lighting. Yeah. You, you moved this outlet. Oh yeah. I relocated a few outlets to make them make more sense. But overall it was just uh, not too many major changes, just a lot of wiring to make this place more usable and livable. I think the next step is going to be insulating and getting the diesel heater working because winter is coming. <laughs> and visually adding this trim here made such a tremendous difference yeah. because the walls were not, you know, super well constructed and there's a lot of gaps. So that just hides all the inconsistencies and makes it look a lot cleaner. All right, that's about it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed all the bus modifications. More to come because we need to get this thing set up for winter. Yeah. All right, stay tuned. Cheers. Berta.